Harold Asmer, West Hills Wood. We're going to put some pull-out shelves into these new kitchen cabinets. Be sure to subscribe and like. And you know the basic YouTube rules. So there's these new kitchen cabinets in place. And the shelves on that side over there by the step ladder are fairly deep, almost two feet deep. And you can have, you know, eventually discover five-year-old Cheerios back there if you're not careful. So we measured out the space. Actual is different from the size of the shelf because actual is the opening. Uh, and the shelf itself needs to be a little different because you need to clear the frame and the hinges and whatever else along the way. So that, that's the extent of our drawing for this entire project. And here's the previous shelf that was in there. It's from the old cabinets. And here's our new shelf piece. The one on top there is the shelf piece that goes in place now. And I used blue tape to mark where the opening is, where we can clear the hinges and the frame and all that. And clearly the other one is not quite there. It's just a little too big. So I checked my numbers again. And rather than cut up the old uh, pull-out shelf, I just made new ones. It was easy. A couple of pieces of plywood, just carve them. So now we're going to mount our drawer slides to our static piece, and uh, we'll go from there. This will make sense as we go along. This is a centering bit. It's extremely helpful when you're trying to drill holes like this right in the um, center. <laughs> That's where you want your screw to go. And with a beveled top on that, if you're a little bit off center, it will pull your slide out of alignment and it can just give you a headache. So get a centering bit and solve your problem. Now here's four of these. There are two others that are screwed down to slightly larger um, pine support boards because that goes on the lower shelf and the lower shelf sits slightly below the frame and we need to clear that. But I knew that already, so we solved that problem before it became a problem. I'm using a uh, drill bit here that is for pocket screws. It has a nice end on it, and then it cuts a flat top, let's call it, which is where the pocket screw is going to lean against. Uh, if you use a typical screw, it's got a beveled head, and you run the risk of splitting the wood. Now, I'm not going to over torque my screws in the first place, so it's not that big an issue, but I can make it a zero issue if I do this. So I'm doing this. And it's a straight pocket screw, so it's not tip, uh, typical use of pocket screws because they go in on an angle, but that's how it's getting used anyway. So I drove one completely through my support piece for the drawer side and verified the depth on it so that I'm not poking out the bottom of the thing. That's just bad form. Don't do that, woodworker guys. So now I'm going to set it up so I can put my piece in place. A little spacer bar. I can use that on both sides. And I only have to do this on two. And then we clamp our other piece in place, our actual support. And then we screw that sucker down. Nice, clean look. I ran a hand plane over the edge on that to take that little sharp edge off. No one will ever touch it. No one will ever see it, but I know it's there, so I did it. So once these are in place, now I can measure for the exact width across here, and it comes up to 26. I think I saw that number somewhere before, maybe twice. Now these particular drawer slides are the European style, and they take one inch between them. Well, now I have one inch of material on both edges there. And this is how I cut that to size. And uh, so there we go with that. So we made all our pieces and stuck them together, but I was able to verify the size of my shelf before I put everything else together. Just a loose slip fit and works good. Glue and screw for our sides. And we know they match up perfectly because we are that good. And then here you go. Let's just test it. Oh, it's flopping around because it's sitting on some loose boards there. But you move it in and out. Make sure it works. 
and here's the finished product. I put the front on. Notice that the back is a little bit taller than the front. It just is. And I'll show you here in just a second, the front is a little bit wider than the other pieces. You can see there on the hinges, it just has to fit in there. Now the microwave on top doesn't need to move in and out. The bottom shelf moves in and out, and that got screwed down to the existing cabinet itself. And you can see we fit inside the shelf, or inside the, the hinge on the side there. It's slightly pulled out. And we're not going to lose any Cheerios in the back. And here's the front edge. It's rounded over just a little bit. And it also goes just beyond the width of the metal drawer slide. This way, when you pull the drawer open, if the door, the cabinet door itself isn't completely open, you won't rub along it and scratch the paint and make everything bad. So that's just uh, one more detail that you learn as things go along. And then you check it out, and it closes up nice, and the folks are happy. Be sure to like, subscribe, and send beer.